In this section, we're going to be going over graphing inequalities. This is section 2.8 in the Algebra 2 book. When you are graphing an inequality, you want to remember that greater than means shade above, less than means shade below. Now, this is a greater than sign here. We have y is greater than 3x minus 2. The less than sign makes the letter L when you draw it, so you can remember less than makes the letter L, and that'll help you keep these straight. To graph this line, we start at our y-intercept, which is negative 2, put a dot there. Your slope is 3. This means you want to rise 3 places, run 1 to the right, and that'll be your new dot. As you draw this line, it's going to be a dotted line, because it's just a greater than sign with no equals underneath it. If it's equals, then we make our line solid, and greater than means shade above, so shade everything above your line. Now if you're graphing this in your calculator, you'd want to go to y equals. You're going to type in 3x minus 2. You're going to look for the little line right next to the, on the left side of the y1. And hit enter twice until it's just shade above and then push graph and it'll show you what the line looks like and how you shade everything above it. On example 2, first we have to solve for y before we can graph this. To solve for y, the first thing we do is subtract 2x to the right, so we get 5y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 10. Now we're going to divide everything by 5. y is less than or equal to negative 2 fifths x plus 2. We start at our y-intercept, which is positive 2. Our slope is a negative 2 fifths, so that means go down 2, right 5 for the next dot. This will be a solid line when we draw it because it's got the equals underneath the less than sign. And it's less than, which means we're shading everything below the line. If you're going to graph this in your calculator, go to y equals. In y1, you're going to type in negative 2 fifths x plus 2. The little um, line right next on the left side of the y1, go over to that with your cursor and hit enter three times until it's telling your calculator shade below and then push graph and you'll get a graph of this line with everything below it being shaded in. On example 3 we have an absolute value graph. Absolute value graphs are the shape of a V. This V has been shifted to the right 2 and up 3. Right 2 because of the minus 2 inside the absolute value. Up 3 because of the plus 3 in the end. So that's where we're going to start our vertex or the butt of our V is at right 2 up 3. Now when you draw your V you want to make sure that you draw it dotted and we're shading everything below the V like this. If you graph this in your calculator go to Y equals and in Y1 you want to make the absolute value bars. They're under math, num, and then number 1 says abs. That doesn't mean you have to work on your abs, that means those are absolute value bars. Type in X minus 2 close your parentheses and put plus 3 on the end. Tell your calculator to shade below this line because it's less than. And then hit enter, I mean push graph to uh, draw a picture of the graph. You should get a graph that looks like this with everything below it being shaded in. On example 4, before we're ready to graph this line we have to first divide by negative 2. When you divide by a negative, you flip your inequality sign. So y is now less than or equal to negative 3x plus 2. We're dividing everything by negative 2. Start your y-intercept at positive 2. Put a dot there. Slope is a negative 3. That means go down 3 places and to the right 1. As you draw this line, it's going to be a solid line because of the equals underneath the less than. And you're shading everything less than, which is below the line, like this. In your calculator, if you're graphing this, go to y1, type in negative 3x plus 2. The little line to the left of the y1, you want to tell it shade below, so you're going to move your cursor over to that little line and hit enter three times so that you're shading below. And push graph, and it'll show you a picture that looks like this line with everything below it being shaded. Last example. x is greater than negative 2. Lines that start with x equals are vertical lines. You cannot graph vertical lines in your calculator. There's no x equals button. There's a y equals button to graph things, but no x equals. So we graph this by hand. Find negative 2 on the x-axis, and we're going to draw a vertical line through that point. This is a dotted vertical line. 
because there's no equals underneath our greater than. And we're shading everything greater than, which here means to the right. So shade everything to the right. Again, you have to do vertical lines by hand. There's no way to graph them in the calculator.